Hi, today we're going to be making a kingfish rig and it is a variable weight kingfish rig. Okay, so this is the type of weight that we're going to be using. Um, you can choose to put a duster or a skirt or you leave it naked, that's up to you. You will need uh, some sort of split ring. This is an oval quick snap. We are using VMC 7266 in Coastal Black and VMC 8626 also in Coastal Black for the trouble. This is a 5 odd size. And the reason why I chose 5 odd is because if you take the uh, the trouble and see the gap right there, they match up. Okay. So it just kind of makes things um, symmetrical for me. Okay. We're going to be using a uh, rigid plastic tube and I've cut this to match the length of the hook shank. Okay, I'm, I'm going to show you exactly how this is done and how I attach it in a bit, okay? What's important is after you cut, you have to heat it up with a lighter a little bit just to flare out the ends and uh, make it a bit more cleaner. Alright, so for this, we're going to be using, I think this is number, number 9 or number 8 wire. You could use thinner ones if you want. It's just that I found that this wire works better for me. And I can get a few fish more from this. Um, first we will cut the uh, length that we're going to be working on here. Alright, and this is the part that where we put the, uh, the skirt or so. Okay, now I always put an eye there, okay? Just so it's a bit cleaner. Okay, so a small eye because uh, this is where it terminates to a swivel most of the time but I like using a snap so that if I need to change rigs it just makes things faster. Okay, so after you form an eye, I have this little vice grip and what it is is I've shrink tube the end so that I can make it bite the wire and it just grips and doesn't damage the wires. From there, we can make our haywire twist. Finish it off with a barrel roll and then twist the tag end off. So you have that. At this point, you want to either put a, uh, a skirt on or a uh, duster. It's up to you. For this one, we'll use a duster. You can leave it naked if you want, of, of course. Make another eye form here, like so. I like the wires to be as short as possible. You might want to do it longer, but for me, short trace is what I want. Also makes it easy for storage. Now at this point, this is where we're gonna put our hook, right there, okay? It goes like that. Then I can proceed to my haywire twist and barrel roll, okay? Clean, and what you want is for that to kind of hide what's underneath there. You're gonna have your fish hooked here, and then when you troll it, the skirt hides everything that's underneath there. So another length of wire. What you want now is for the wire to be the length of your bait. Now, for me, I want my treble to be somewhere around there. Okay, so that's the length. Okay, you want it to be, I want it to be about the treble sitting around here. Okay, possibly a bit longer. I always use this eye former to make the shapes a bit better. <coughs> there. Make sure that the eye going towards your leader is separate, it doesn't get mixed up. Make your haywire twist and your barrel roll or barrel wrap whichever term you want to use the vice grip just makes it easier to do all this and then we'll cut off the tag or break the tag like so what you want to do is to ensure that it lays straight like that okay you don't want to crowd the middle because we're going to use that in a bit okay. and I'll insert this in here what it does is to create a gap, okay, so that once you, t you uh, secure this, this part would always be straight and that the wire doesn't hit that gap for the off chance that it will pop out the gap. You want the trouble to be about right there, 
Okay, I always measure it like that. Okay, now it's time to secure this. I use smallest zip ties I can find. And this is size 2.5. Okay, now I put that in as close to the eye as I could, then zip tie them. that. Now as you can see the wire is pushed towards the middle right there and that's what exactly what you want. Okay so tighten that up, cut the excess off as close as possible. Okay and then I have another one like that. As tight as possible. That sucker's not going anywhere. Okay, now remember, everything's hidden right there. See, your bait's gonna be there, like that, secured. Okay, now, the part that's most interesting is this is the finished rig. And if you want to make this run a bit deeper, you wanna put some weight on. So what I found is that these eyes are perfect because they're big so what I do is to put a uh, quick snap okay like so okay right there okay, now this is positioned between just to give you a closer look okay so this goes right after the uh, wire right there and before the treble wire. Okay. Now, for illustration purposes, it's uh, this weight. The weight, but the most important thing is that it has like a swivel end. Okay. Uh, this is a type of a bank sinker that we get here. Basically, what happens is if I want something to go down real deep, I'll attach this. There are smaller ones, of course. Now, this one I want to rig so that it goes down deep my live bait and uh, by the way this also makes a killer dead bait uh, rig so there we go now when this runs as you can see right there the water resistance pushes the weight towards where the chin of the fish is gonna be which is the perfect position for it to be at. Okay, so the fish is gonna be like that. Okay, and it's always gonna be right side up because of that. So when you're running, especially on a kayak where speeds are slow, this is, this is killer. The live bait, I think this is one of the best rigs out there. So use it, have fun, and um, send me some pictures if you've caught some fish with this rig. Bye for now.